G'day guys, how you going? As you can see, I'm uh, in my Sunday best, and there's a good reason for that. This afternoon, I'm going to be installing the four drive systems locker in the front of my Nissan Patrol. Um, not a small undertaking, they reckon about four to five hours to, to get it done. Um, pretty much involves stripping down the front axle to, uh, to get the diff uh, center out um, so we can, we can put the locker in. Um, yeah, so I've got a fair bit ahead of me. Uh, while I'm there, I'm going to probably change a few oil seals as, as well around the, uh, the front swivel hubs. Um, I'm going to have it all apart anyway, so I might as well do that. Uh, anyway, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Well, as you can see, I now have the uh, diff center out and we can start on uh, dismantling what's in there now, uh, pulling the planetary gears out and installing the uh, locker. Phase two, hey? All right, now let's see if I can show you how all this goes together. So we've got our, our, our axle gear, our, our cam gear, our drive or our drive gear, and that they sit in there like that. Uh, make sure you put your thrust washers back on as well. And then we've got our, our spacer, and our spacer goes in so that the the the, the thick side is in, well, in like that. Pretty much. Okay, so you got two sides to the spacer. Spacer goes in, in like that. So when it's all together, it should look as such. Now we just need to get this into here, <laughs> which is a lot easier said than done. Okay, um, there is a few little tricks which are in the instructions as well. Uh, a little bit of grease to um, to help stick the the, the cam gear to the, or the, the drive gear uh, to the axle gear and that just makes the process a whole lot easier. Alright, so I got a bit of, don't need huge amounts, just need it a little bit because these things are designed with such precision they almost stick together by themselves so you don't need too much grease in there. Okay. So thrust washer, thrust washer is on, and let's get the first axle gear in like such. Now, give it a, just give it a bit of a turn to make sure that it's seated as well. Okay, so a second axle gear. You need to put the axle gears in first because if you put the the, the drive gear the drive gear in, um, it doesn't fit. Uh, you, you won't, you won't. If you put the drive gear in in, in second, you won't get the next uh, the next axle gear in. Okay, so then make sure our, our spacer is is in that way and such. And then we get our, and this is where the um, this is where the grease comes in handy. Once we get this in, uh, showing how to do this on a video is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So, just gonna... Space is giving me a bit of grief. And that's you can see how the grease there sticks that all together. Okay, let's get our spacer in. Make sure you got your spacer the right way. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to pull it all apart again, and that's not fun. Trust me, I've made that mistake once already. Okay, so our, our spacer is in. Those two together. Right, so with everything in place, now we need to get our get these little pins and washers. So you notice on the pin, you notice on the pin how it's got a raised end at one end, that's for the spring. So the spring sits on there like that and um, doesn't it so it won't fall off. So you've got to make sure that's up when you put that in there. Okay. 
my greasy fingers on it now. So that's There we go, I heard it just, uh, I heard it fall in and then fall out. Okay, so that's that one in. And then, there we go, so there's, there's one in. Go back to the other side. Make sure, make sure our pin's up on the upside. So that's one side in, and now. I'm sure there's a specialist mechanical tool for putting these springs in, and I'm sure it's expensive as well. Okay, so that's in. So that's I've done it a couple of times now, so I've got a little bit of a knack for it, but that's that's how it goes in. So once it's in, um, then you need a set of feeler gauges and your tolerances will be on the instruction um, and your instructions. And that's to make sure that this space in here, this space in here between the two axle gears are uh, Ah, oh, I just lost my gear. I just lost my thing. I can just edit this bit out, hey? <laughs> right. Here we go. That side's okay. And check this side around the back as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that side's okay too. Excellent. So. All, all good, all set, all, all ready to go. Um, just make sure you follow the instructions, take your time, double, triple check everything that you do. Don't rely on this, uh, on this demonstration as instructions. Um, everything's, everything's here that you need to know uh, about getting it in, getting it set up correctly. Just follow your instructions. Awesome, now it's time to put the diff all back together and stick it back in the car.